Right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. This is Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi on the internet, and I'm coming to you today with a slow play. This means it won't be as hyper-edited as normal, but I will cut out all the boring shit where we just sit there and stare at our bone as they think through their lines. I am playing a deck that I fucking love, Green, White, Death and Attackers. In modern again... Uh, basically, I have decided that I'm going to play the main event of GP Liverpool, which is Unified Team Modern. My team, I can't quite announce yet, but that will be coming on social media in the next couple of days. And that will be very exciting because there will be some other familiar faces playing the GP with me. So here I have Green, White, Death and Taxes. I'm playing two Scoozers main because I fucking hate Dredge. And I'm playing two of the new Hotness Night of Autumn as well. This list is so similar to my previous Green, White, Death and Taxes list with a few alterations. I'm playing uh, the Avon Mind Sense now Scav news because of the aggressive nature of the format. I think I was playing four Horizon Canopy. I'm back down to two again because of the aggressive nature of the format. Um, and yeah, this is this is the, the the build that I would play now. There's a chance of the GP that I might play Restoration Angel over Collected Companies, like four copies of Resto. Um, essentially, I'll probably play the deck more on the channel and discuss that more openly and decide what to play for the GP over the coming month. Uh, if you're an if you were looking forward to a normal, sort of fast-paced, hyper-edited gameplay video today, I am sorry, it's been a long old fucking week. But the great and exciting thing is, I am going to be a full-time content creator for about a week or so's time. So um, after the GP, I will be fully committed to full-time content creation. I actually leave my job before that. I quit my job because thanks to Patreon, subscriptions, Twitch subscriptions, all that beautiful stuff, ad revenue and sponsors, Empty Geo Traders of course being my premier sponsor. Because of all of those things I can now focus on making more and more Magic the Gathering content. Unfortunately I'm still working my day job so this week has been a long old fucking week. So I'm going to make this video enjoy a bit of modern, I hope, or not get completely fucking wrecked by dredge. And then I'm going to go out and buy Pokemon and I'm going to relax. And by relax I mean I've got to go work my day job tomorrow morning, which is a Saturday. So um, yeah, no rest for the wicked. But there is more content coming. Do not worry this is not replacing the normal content this is in addition to the normal content most weeks right let's play some fucking modern let's smash some bitches right in we go round and round where will it stop nobody knows we rolled a four they rolled a three perhaps that'll be indicative of what is going to happen in this game we have won the dial we'll go first we've got a hand of two lands and some stuff Oh, we have no vile, we have no noble hierarch. We do have a removal spell, we do have a two-dot creature. So this is not the worst. I'm going to keep it. I think it's a bit shaky. A bit shaky. They have mulliganed to five. They have mulliganed to four. Well, I've been having pretty pretty bad luck lately. Um, so I guess things come in swings and roundabouts, right? Ha! Ah. <laughs> ha! What?! What? What? Oh, I'm glad I'm miles away from casting that. If it's natural Tron Khan, man, they'll be pretty fucking mad. Okay, well, that decreases their chance of tronning me. Okay, the turn one graphic is cage is pretty funny. At least we're not dredge. Can you imagine if they multi four and beat dredge with that? You'd be pretty fucking mad, wouldn't you? Game one. Do they have any other lands? No. If I draw a ghost quarter, we are, we're in the fucking money. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to fire it off just yet. Because we can do this as well. We can go... Oh, they they don't want to play any more magic. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. If you're going to be like that, Tron, be like that. We're going to take Dampening Sphere and put that into our deck. We're also going to take both Stony Silences and put those into our deck. Selfless Spirit's quite good against Oblivion Stone, but not so good against... Um, what do we call it? Yeah, you know the one. Uh, all his dust. Because that sacrifices and not destroys. Um... So, scratch my head puzzlingly as I consider what I'm going to actually play in, or take out in place of these cards. Right, so let's decide upon that. What the fuck do I not want to see? Probably Scavenging Ooze is a pretty bad, if I'm completely honest. Night of Autumn is good, Displays can be very good, Blades must be quite good. Because I took in one company, because we're down to 24 creatures, and we submit that list! Okay, so that was a very good game one against Tron. To the point that I probably can't upload this because it'll just be me going, oh, look at this game where I win. Not the most exciting of Magic. Perhaps we have a much more exciting game two. Okay, they have obviously got the choice to go first, and they're going to go first. We've got a Bio, we've got an Arbiter, we've got a Company, we've got a Blade Spy. So they could just play a fucking cage, but 
but who knows. Let's keep this. This is perfectly fine. We've got a one drop, two drop hand. They've mulled to six. They've mulled to six. Come on, M-A non. E-M-A non. Do you not? E-M-A was obviously... Um, uh, it, what was it? Eternal Masters? Was the set expansion? E-M-A is also the, the acronym for um, Educational Maintenance Allowance, which was a thing that was given to college students. Um, uh, not the college like Americans, you Americans. It was the, the period between high school and university. College students to pay for their buses and shit in England. So maybe this 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 fine gentleman or lady never got EMA. And if that's the case, I'm sorry, because I got EMA because I was from a low-income family. Oh, that welfare state. Those fucking socialists, eh? Those fucking socialists. Okay, let's pass the turn back to them. I guess we'll be going on to watching another game of this, of this league if this one isn't so exciting. Okay, we're not staring down a turn three Khan or similar. Nets has claimed my vile, eh? That's not the best, but it's also, it's fine, I guess. Like, meh, let's play an Arbiter. Because it stops them from playing a map and cracking it. Is it Thunder outside or someone moving a bin around? One of the two. Okay, that's, that's, that's them assembling Tron, I guess. That's, is that how the cookie is going to crumble? That is how the cookie is going to crumble. I could do draw a ghost quarter. And when I ask for it, sometimes I am, I'm blessed. That is not a blessing. That is more of a hindrance. Okay, let's just go to combat and then play a Blade Spicer. So I could play a Noble here. Um, Noble would be better against uh, Khan, I guess, because if they've got up a land, I can still play Coco next turn. Um, it's But the, if they can't on one of my lands with this board state, that'd be pretty terrible for them. If this is all this dust, the Golem survives. So there is that. Let me just play a land and company. If it's a worm coil engine, I'll be pretty unhappy. If it's Ugin, then, well, that's that really, isn't it? Is this a Khan? Do we beat a Khan? It's a fucking worm coil engine. Okay. And then we're going to silver and scrying some more mana, I guess. They cast it into the Arbiter and they cannot search. Do not collect go. Do not collect. Do not, do not collect go. Do you click go, Pokemon Go? Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 pounds. Or in this case, some more mana. Okay, so we have a definitive 100% way to make another goal into the block with. So I guess that's where we're at. Um, we're not attacking into a fucking worm call engine. We could company to try and get a wisp to flicker it out, but then it'll just attack next turn and then we'll feel bad. So we're hopefully just going to make a second golem and double strike, a first strike this worm call engine down. No Ugin one time. No Ugin one time. Fucking hell, that's a lot of mana. Oh, what is this? This this is a Khan. Okay, now we've got a game of magic, my friends. What's Khan going to do? Tick up, I guess? That seems like a, a natural way to go from here. Tick up a Khan and sit it behind your worm call engine and then ride that to victory. Ride that thick metal boy. Uh, Exile my Arbiter, eh? Well... Okay, then, I guess. Sure. They must have someone scrying in hand. So they're going to attack now. We're going to... There are no attacks. And... Interesting. So we can kill Khan, which is great. Yes, I would like to make another golem. God, that feels so good. Right, untap. Ha! <laughs> Fuck off, vile. Let's put you over there in the not playing pile. Um, Let's go to combat and see if they've got like some sort of warping whale... Not Whooping Whale, Distortion, sh whatever the fuck it's called. We all, you guys know what I'm about. The, the Spatial Contortion, that's the one. Take that Khan, you shit. Okay. I'm going to pay this. Shock ourselves. Play a Hierarch or play a Vile? I guess Vile is... Yeah. Then we're going to pass the turn. So they play another land, they play a Thought Not Seer. A, okay, that's going to resolve. Trigger on the stack. Let's do some stuff. Collect a company. Come on, don't fail me now, baby. Ooh, do we have any color sources? We do not. So Displacer gets a lot worse. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot worse. But if we draw a colorless source, it'll be... Absolutely incredible. So I think I go Displacer, Flicker Wisp. Arbiter's kind of okay because if they have an Ar Oh, I've against Band in Modern. What the fuck am I talking about? Flicker out the Thought Not Seer and see what I draw, I guess. No, probably not. Oh, they've 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 scooped. <laughs> Wee! Okay, let's play another round. 
I've already lost one man to fucking Death Shadow that I've actually recorded, but I'm not showing you guys that because it was fucking shit. Okay, whilst beating Khan was impressive, let's try and have a game where our opponent doesn't multiply five in the first game. Uh, we won the die roll. Let's have a look at what we've got. We have got a hand with a Hierarch, a Knight for turn two, Company on turn three, or a Thali, depending on what they're playing. Yeah, this is solid. Let's have a look at what they're going to do. Are they keeping a seven, or are they going to mug into Oblivion as well? They've decided to keep a seven. Okay, let's play Hierarch. Pass turn. Simeon Spirit Guide. Interesting. Wild Canto. Is this some sort of fucking monogreen belcher? So, Spirit Guide into Wild Canto. Sack for green. Traverse. Get the only forest. With the forest, play a tune. Looks like I'm turn two in a Thalia against whatever the fuck this nonsense is. They have two energy right now as well. I haven't played against any sort of um, belcher deck, FYI. I'm just guessing it's belcher from the way it's playing. And I've heard people talking about a Belcher deck in modern, which is something I I personally haven't seen, but a couple of guys on my Discord are really into it. I think Wedge from the Mana Source was saying that he plays Mono Green Belcher. I was like Play might be a stretch of the word. Is that the mountain we saw them go get? It is the mountain we saw them go get. Cool. Governor Township player scoos. Yeah, so I have no fucking idea what our opponent is doing right now. But if in doubt, play a Thali and hope it disrupts them. Because we can eat the Cantor if that's part of some combo. Faithless looting for two mana. Ha! <laughs> Hardly even playable. They discard Pyretic Ritual and Reforge the Soul. Yeah, this is some sort of fucking... This is a combo deck if ever I saw it. Uh, I'm going to eat the Py Reforge the Soul now because of Noxious Revival. They can't cast it right now. And I know that I've played combo decks where you Noxious the Reforge to the top. Um, okay, let's shock myself. Guess we'll go to combat and swing. I want to swing for four here, not Gavany. I'm going to company in their our end step, I think. And then I can Gavany hopefully for the win next turn. Maybe tapping out is the wrong thing. Let's find out. Huh. <laughs> okay. This one. And this one. So we just left them with no mana on their turn. And we have a Thalia in play. That is a strong position, some might say. <laughs> hey, gotcha. In some ways, I want to see what's happening, but at the same time, I don't want to die. Uh, let's play Damping Sphere. There seems to be some sort of fucking crazy combo shit. I'd love Rhetoric. Eat this one, Canonist. I don't think we need Rips. We might need Stony, but I'm not 100% sure. Dog. I don't think I want Eternal Witness or Displacer here because it's a bit slow against the combo decks. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Right, okay, we have got them keeping a seven. If I sound out of breath, I'll just run downstairs and stop my dog from barking at somebody. Okay, we've got Scoos, we've got Path. I don't even know if we should get our paths in now, come to think of it. I'm going to mulligan this. Yeah, this seems better. Okay, let's do this. Bottom that. F6 through their turn, I guess. Turn one, play a Vile. Chance of the Tangle, eh? So they get mana in the main phase. Okay, don't play a Chalice, I guess. Oh, we're all good, we're all good. They're just going to start looking for basic lands, I guess. Yeah, this, there's no doubt in my mind this is some sort of Belcher deck. It's frustrating that I draw the second vial, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. A forest and a mountain in their hand. They play the mountain, okay. Put the trigger on the stack. Say yes. Find a Skoos. Play a Damping Sphere. F6 into their turn. They play the forest that we know about. And then they cast this. What the fuck is this? Recross the paths. Reveal cards on top of your library until you reveal a land card. Put that card into the battlefield and invest in the bottom of your library in any order. Clash your opponent if you win. Return it to your hand. Okay. So they're going to reveal their entire deck. Showing fucking char belchers. Mana sources. And very few lands. Okay. Oh, that's their entire deck. Okay. Wowza. To reveal a land card. Well, okay, we knew about these. Oh, so because they're... Ah, so they get to stack their deck in any order. But there's no more lands in their deck, so they're going to have to go Simeon Spirit Guide into Belcher, and the rituals will be a lot worse thanks to the Damping Sphere. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I have not faced this at all in modern years. For those of you at home that want to see more, let's just pop that out. This is what their deck looks like. Couple of reforged souls. They're probably going to miracle the reforged soul next turn to try to get as much mana sources into hand as possible. Uh, temple garden. We're going to put that on the bottom of our library because we don't want a temple garden. 
activate this. Say yes, make this. Right, so a belter activation will just fucking kill us. There's there's no two ways about it. So we really need to avoid them beltering us if we can. But the deck is going to be stacked now exactly how they want it. Hmm. Let's sack this now. So we draw. Because Thalia would be good here. So we can make a Scooz and eat a Street Wraith. So that's going to cost them two mana. Which is going to... We don't... Once they cast it, we have to make the Scooz, though. Because both players get cards, don't we? Yes, let's make a Scavenging Ooze. Sure. Shuffle our library in. Maybe waiting to see if we've got a Thalia. No, we didn't draw a Thalia. We can come here next time to try and find a Thalia, though. Thalia seems pretty good. Because it means that their rituals that are trying to cast aren't so good. Because they're playing, like, desperate rituals and things. So that's them restocking their hand. And there's nothing else they can do because of Dampening Sphere. So let's keep Valon. No, we've put Valon 3 so I can flicker us out of land. Just to put off mana. That's a pretty good magic card. If ever I did see one. So we're shocking ourselves here. So we can company for Thalia, which plus Dampening Sphere makes it very hard for them to do anything. It's all in Canalist. If they go Simian Spirit, go into a ritual, they can then cast the Char Belcher. But, um. Now we'll just do this. Play can attack. I'm going to make a green eat Street Wraith. Make a green eat Street Wraith. Hit them for five. And then end step, I'm going to exile their mountain for a turn. Just to minimise the amount of mana they've got. We can Resto Flicker a land next turn as well. So we're, we're really disrupting their game plan here through like Canonists and Damping Spheres and Flicker Wisps. We're stacking them a little bit, which is great. It's kind of magic that I enjoy. So I guess I can go Simeon, Simeon, Char Belcher. There we go. Now they need three mana sources to activate it. But I can Wisp it out as well for a turn. So the land comes back. Huh. We really need to hit. A Knight of Autumn. Oh, they... Of course, they have enough Simmons to do it. Derp. Of course they do, because they've, they've got all four, haven't they? Oh, they have all four if they've set their deck correctly. So now we get Belched. Okay. Huh. Getting sideboarding. So we do want Stony Silence, because they don't appear to have any way to stop the worship as well. Cut a company. Canonist is fine for the rituals. Cut all four copies of Path. I shouldn't have kept those in. That's fucking stupid. Scavenging news. Okay, let's give that a shot. Ha! Oh, we were so close to just getting them dead, but yeah, the of course they have enough simians at that point because they've drawn their entire deck effectively, or they stack the deck and then drawn seven cards effectively. A pithy needle on Char Belcher or on Simeon Spirit Guide would be pretty strong. Um, but we don't have any pithy needles in our deck. Rogue can name Char Belcher, but cannot name Simeon. Oh, yawny, yawny, yawn. What a long day. I filmed so much and all of it's been garbage. Would I like to play first? Yes, I fucking would. What have we got? Worship, Thalia, I don't know about Eric. Yeah, this... Unless they've got some sort of nuts hand, this hand looks very good against them. They have Mulligan the six. Do we get got by, inverted commas, mono green Belcher? Guess what mono green Belcher can do to get around Worship is to just belch off each creature every turn. I guess. Use one spirit guide already to play a cantor to make a green mana to play a tune with aether or similar effects. Wonder what the sideboard is like for this deck. Must be like 12 of these effects as well to get all the lands out of the deck. So the question here is Thalia better or is Idol of Rhetoric better? They're gonna play a land and they can simian out the thing that stacks their deck, I guess. I guess Thalia is better. If we play a noble, next time we have three lands, two nobles, we can do. Start attacking for harder, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we could attack for one there. We could play the idol on there. I think Thalia is fine, though. Yeah, look, it's. I mean, they can't cast like three mana spells, they haven't got Simeon. So get in for four. Ooh, what have they got? Lightning Bolt, eh? Huh. Okay. Fine. So they do have sideboard cards. That is, that is interesting. I didn't think they would. Once we played worship, we'll just start attacking with Idol Rhetoric and activating Gavney every turn until we draw some more disruptive spells. I guess. 
They can't cast another spell. Sweet. So we can cast only one spell. I guess it's the Worship, or is it the Blade Splicer this turn? Blade Splicer lessens the clock. They aren't going to kill us next turn, I don't think, anyway. So, yeah, let's just play a Blade Splicer. Get in for three. Then five next turn and play Worship, and then Lethal the turn after. They'd have to literally play Belcher and activate to kill us. No, we got there. Eidolon of Rhetoric is good against combo. Who would have thought it? Well, okay, so that was two interesting matches, I guess. Uh, beating an active Wormcall Engine and a Khan is one thing. And then beating Red Green Char Belcher in Modern? <laughs> yeah, weird. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Or just make sure to click the bell button to see videos in future. I'll have more hyper edited gameplay coming next week. I'll have more videos like this coming next week or the week after. I'm full time in as of next week ish. I'm going to have a little bit of a break and then be full time content. So there's going to be loads of shit coming. Click some of the links on screen now. There'll be other stuff with this deck and other decks as well. And just love me, you know? Engage. Get involved. Drop me a comment. Tell me if you're enjoying this shit. I like it. I like all of you. You're doing me good, kids. You're doing me good. I've been Vince, also known as President on the internet. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon.